everyone. As promised, here is my Christmas story. It's one that both me and my children enjoy reading at bedtime, and we find it quite funny. So I hope you enjoy it. It's called Norman, the Slug Who Saved Christmas, about a really determined slug who helped save Christmas for some children. Norman was very excited. It was Christmas Eve. His stocking was up and he'd even left a treat for Father Christmas's reindeer. Meanwhile, far above, Father Christmas sneezed. Achoo! And without him knowing it, a sack fell from his sleigh. Down on the ground, Norman snuggled in his bed. I hope I've been a good slug, he said to himself. I hope Father Christmas comes. Yes, I have been a good slug, thought Norman, and he was just closing his eyes when... Thwack! Gosh, thought Norman, I didn't know I'd been that good. Thanks, Father Christmas. Norman dived straight in. There was wrapping paper everywhere. But then he spotted something. What's this label, said Norman. Do we think they're for Norman? Said Billy. The scooter is for Jess, he said. The ukulele is for Billy. And the football is for Susie. Oh no, what have I done? None of these presents are for me. Billy, Jess and Susie will wake up tomorrow and think that Father Christmas has forgotten them. I'd better get these presents to Wiggleton as fast as I can. But Wiggleton looked a very long way away. How would Norman get all these presents there? And that's when he had an idea. I wonder what he's going to do. He! He pushed over the sign. Fantastic! That will do nicely, thought Norman. Then he set to work gathering all the other things that he needed. He was very busy. Ta-da! Now it was time to wrap the presents. But how? Norman didn't have any sticky tape. But luckily, if there's one thing slugs don't need, it's sticky tape. With a sliver and a sliver, the presents were ready. Phew! I don't think I'd like a present wrapped in slug slime, though. Now it was time to put his plan into action. Haste now, as he called. I need your help. We need to deliver the Shelby family's presents, or their Christmas will be ruined. But Norman, said the puzzle snails, how will we do that? Like this, said Norman. Giddy up! Wee! Crash! Finally, they arrived at number 11 Slime Avenue. Uh, Norman said us now, how will you get to the chimney? I won't, Norman replied. I'm going to use the cat flap. He heaved and pushed until the last present was safely through. Quick, Norman cried the snails. The children are coming. Norman needed to hide. But where? I wonder where he's going to hide. Ta-da! Norman loved being a ball ball. And nobody would ever know that a slug had saved Christmas Day. There they are, in the trees. I really hope you enjoyed that story. All that's left for me to say is to have a wonderful Christmas. Enjoy the most important things, which is time with your loved ones. And we look forward to seeing you when you get back to school in January. Goodbye.